If you want to learn how to create a dynamic chart which updates automatically every time you enter new data within the data set and also only shows values which are greater than zero, then you're in the right place. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. Okay, so let's get started. I have a data set over here consisting of two columns. The first column is the name column and the second column is the average commission for each individual. What I want to do is I want to create a dynamic bar chart which updates automatically every time I add a new record to this data set. And I also want that bar chart to only show records which are greater than zero. For example, the bar chart I create should not include Kevin in this scenario because his average commission is blank. I want to omit all records where the average commission is either blank or not greater than zero. So I'll first begin with the first part that is creating a dynamic bar chart which automatically updates every time I add a new record. And in order to do that, I will need to create two named ranges. We will need to go to formulas in the ribbon and then click on name manager and in name manager we will need to create two named ranges so the name manager window opens and here we're going to have to click on new the first name range is going to be for the name column so i'll call it dynamic names and the formula we have to enter for this name range is currently displayed on the screen so i'm going to copy and paste this formula in this area and then i'll explain how it works very briefly Okay, so now that I've entered the formula, I'll briefly explain how it works. So this is an offset formula with four arguments. The first argument is the starting point, which in this case is cell H2, which is the first cell in which we have data within the name column. The second argument is the row offset, which in this case is zero. And the row offset specifies that the starting cell should not be shifted up or down any rows from cell H2. The third argument is the column offset, which in this case is also zero, and column offset specifies that the starting cell should not be shifted left or right from cell H2. And finally, the fourth argument is the height. So this highlighted argument is the height, and it's a count A argument, and this argument determines the height of the range based on the count of non-blank cells in column H. And note that at the tail end we have minus one. And the reason why we're subtracting one is because we have a header in our data set and we don't want that to be counted. So that's why we're putting one. And in a nutshell, that's how this offset formula works. So now that I've entered the formula, I'll click on OK. Uh, now we have to create a second name formula this time for the average commission. So I'll click on new again, and I will name this named formula dynamic commission. There we go. And the formula we have to enter for dynamic commission is very similar to the formula we entered for dynamic name. And that named formula is currently displayed on the screen. So I'll go ahead and copy paste that formula over here. Again, it's an offset formula with four arguments, with the exact same four arguments, which I explained a little bit earlier on. So now I'll click on OK. So now our two named formulas have been created within the name manager. Now let's create a bar chart based on these two named formulas. So I'll go to insert. I'll click on the bar chart. Now I'll right click on the bar chart. I'll go to select data. In the legend entries section over here, I'll click on add. The series name should be average commission. And in the series value, I'll click on this button over here. And all you have to do here is click on equal sign and select any cell on your worksheet. It could be any random cell. Then delete all the values which come after the exclamation mark. So you can see an exclamation mark right over here. Uh, delete all values that come after that. So I'll just delete that and immediately after the exclamation mark we have to type the name of the name formula which in this case is dynamic commission so there we go uh, we put dynamic commission after the exclamation mark so we're all done and we have to click on ok the next step is go to the horizontal axis label section and click on edit and do the exact same thing equal sign click on any cell in the worksheet and then delete everything that comes after the exclamation mark as so 
and this time we have to put the name of the respective named formula, which in this case will be dynamic names. There we go, dynamic names, click on OK, and there we go. This uh, dynamic bar chart has been created successfully. I'll create data labels for it as well. So here is how it looks with data labels. So as you can see, we have all the names and all the average commissions included, and this is dynamic. So if I enter a new value in this data set, it will be automatically added to this bar chart. Let's try it out. Let's uh, add a new name. Let's say a new individual called John, for example, and their average commission will put $550, for example. There we go. As you can see, John has been automatically added. So we were able to successfully accomplish the first part that is being able to create a bar chart which automatically updates every time we add a new record without having to go and change the ranges in the select section. So this bar chart does exactly that. Now let's move on to the second part that is excluding values that are blank or values that are equal or smaller than zero. How do we do that? So to do that, we will need to create two helper columns. That's the first step. After we create the two helper columns, we need to make some modifications to our named formulas. So let's begin with creating those helper columns. The first helper column we're gonna create is a filter formula. And that formula is currently displayed on the screen over here. I'm going to uh, include that formula in any column. So you have to start with row one, but it could be any column. I'll put it, for example, in column N. So the formula is as follows. We have put filter, open parentheses, then column H, all the records, comma, open parentheses, column I, must not be equal to blank. And just note for the blank, I'm going to put double quotation, space, and then another double quotation. This will make sure that even if the number is a formula, it will still be omitted. Otherwise, if the value is a formula, it will not pick it up if we do not put the blank. So make sure you don't just put two double quotations. Put a double quotation, a space, and another double quotation. Then we'll put a close parentheses. Then we'll multiply it by open parentheses we'll select column i again and this time we'll put not equal to zero and then close parentheses close parentheses and that's our filter argument the filter formula is looking into column h and then what it's doing is it's filtering column h based on the values in column i and it's only including those that are not equal to blank just make sure there's a space between the two double quotations that's very important and it's also excluding the values in column i which are not greater than zero through this argument so we're filtering based on column h and we're leaving out anything that's blank and we're leaving out anything that's not greater than zero through this filter formula and this is done so successfully as you can see all values included with the exception of kevin who has a blank average commission and this is how it's done over here then i will have to create another helper column our second helper column we call it average commission and this helper column is just a simple vlookup so i'll put equal sign vlookup open parentheses then i'll look up this value this name over here within this range then comma two comma false so this is a basic vlookup argument and i will drag this all the way down and I'm also going to include an if error at the beginning since we're going to be dragging it down much longer in case we have more values in the future I'm just putting the F error otherwise we'll get the NA error after the last visible record so then put comma at the end two double quotations and close parentheses there we go and now I can drag this down as much as I want in case there are future values now if we didn't have the if error here's how it would look like so i'm going to remove the f error here if we remove the f error from this argument then we drag it down as you can see we'll have na's here to uh, avoid having these na's we're using the f error formula so i'm going to drag this all the way down with the if error so we have a v lookup which is surrounded by the if error formula so these are our two helper columns now all we need to do is to make some modifications to our two named ranges. And these modifications are as follows. So I'm gonna to go to formulas in the ribbon, click on name manager. And first I'm gonna to go to dynamic names. In dynamic names, all I have to do is change the reference from column H to column N. So I'm just gonna swap the references for the uh, dynamic name. 
So instead of H, we're gonna have N, and also here N and N. And then I'll click on this check mark over here. Now for dynamic commission, it's going to be a little bit different. So in addition to changing references from column I to column O, we have to change this count A to a count if, and I'll explain a little bit later on uh, why. So the new formula we have to enter for the dynamic commission is currently displayed on the screen. So we're gonna have to change the height. First, I'll swap the references. I'll go from column I to column O as so. And we also have to change this count A to a count if. So I'll change this to count if. And after this, I'll put a comma. I'll put a double quotation greater than zero. Another double quotation and we can remove the subtraction from one since that's already been done in the dynamic names named formula. So we don't have to do that again. And then I'll click on the check mark and I will close out. As you can see, we were able to successfully create a dynamic bar chart, which also eliminates values which are blank or values that are equal to zero. Let's add data labels for better visualization. There we go. So you can see Kevin has been omitted. So with the help of our two helper columns and our two named formulas, we were able to create a dynamic bar chart, which is not only dynamic, but it only shows values which are greater than zero. As you can see, Kevin has been correctly omitted from this new bar chart. And once again, I want to show you the named manager, the named formulas. So the first named formula is the dynamic names, which is a so. And the second one is the dynamic commission, which is again an offset formula, but we put a count if at the end to only include the values which are greater than zero. Now let's just test this out, make sure it's working correctly. Let's add another name to this list. Let's say uh, we have add a name called Mark and the average commission is uh, say $600. You can see Mark has been added correctly to this list. Now let's add another person which has a blank average commission. Let's put, for example, Ted and Ted's average commission is blank. As you can see, nothing happened here. If you put zero, there we go. Ted has not been added. So only individuals who have an average commission of greater than zero are being included in our bar chart. And this is completely automatic. So once you create these two helper columns and you create your two named formulas, all of this is being done automatically. And you don't have to come back to this bar chart and change the references every time. And this is a very convenient method. Now let's add another name. Let's put, for example, Ryan. And let's say Ryan has an average commission of $400. As you can see, Ryan has been added to this list. So this is completely dynamic. So the bar chart basically updates every time we add a value to this list, which the average commission is greater than zero. We were able to successfully accomplish this using our two helper columns, which of course you can eventually hide or put them at the very end of your uh, spreadsheet at the right hand columns where they're not visible to your audience. And this does exactly what we wanted to do. That is, we successfully created a dynamic bar chart, which automatically updates every time we input a new record, which has a value of greater than zero. And that's how it's done. I hope you found this video useful and educational and got value out of it. If you did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. For those of you new to my channel, welcome. Please consider subscribing and activating notifications. This way, you'll always be updated with latest videos and won't miss out on the exciting content. I also have some very exciting news. I'm now offering exclusive one-on-one -on -one appointments through TopMate. This is your chance to have a personalized session with me where we can deep dive into topics related to freelancing, career planning, data analytics, business intelligence, and other topics which are currently displayed on the screen. So whether you're looking for advice or you want to discuss a specific subject or just want to have a chat, I'm here for it. Whether it's mastering a new skill, deep diving into a specific topic, or unlocking your full potential, together we can tackle your biggest challenges and map out a path to success. Booking is super easy. Just head over to TopMate by clicking on the link in the description box, find my profile, and choose a time that works best for you. We can connect, 
talk about your goals, and work together to achieve them. Don't miss out on this unique opportunity to get personalized attention and advice tailored just for you. I'm really looking forward to meeting you and helping you on your journey. Spots are limited, so make sure to book your appointment soon, and let's make some magic happen together.